everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Necrosmith 2. It is a... how to describe it? It's a build-a-monster, incremental auto-battler, sort of tower defense, base defense, strategy game. Uh, I played the first one a couple years ago and rather loved it. I uh, got really into, like, putting monsters together and going out and, like, uh, clearing the map, and it was very, very fun. And they've updated it, they've added a bunch of new things, they've made it more interesting. I think the meta progression was more exciting, too. Uh, it looks like we're starting completely fresh, and oh, we've got a lot of things to unveil here. I gotta go back and do the Wall World DLC, that's the other thing I'm remembering. These are, I believe these are trinkets that I can bring with me, that modify the game in some way, which should be kind of fun. On top of everything else, and portal disc. Ooh, key disc. So we've got different places to go, too. Some more maps. Start the tutorial. Nah, played it recently. I should also mention, as we're loading in, that Necrosmith 2 is out on Steam tomorrow on March 27th. So if you want to pick it up, just follow the link in the description below. And it is eight bucks. And I should probably also mention a very quick thank you to Alawar for sponsoring this video. Uh, let's see. So what are we doing here as part of this? I've been covering Alwar games, I think a little bit more aggressive lately. Was it was it Tower Defense first? Because I never played Beholder, and then Wall World came out, and I got really hooked on that one, because that did have a lot of the things that I really like. Uh, yeah, let's go with this guy. Okay, so what we do is we... <laughs> I did not realize how big that rib cage is. Okay, so you make a you make a monster, and you just kind of send it out, and they'll explore the world and grab things. Uh, so every monster bit kind of has... Uh, Oh, it's right-click to get rid of those. Ah, it's double-click. Yeah, I didn't mean to right-click right and uh, recycle it, but it's fine. Anyway, so the entire point is we're summoning monsters that are just going to randomly wander around. You can actually give them some level of gui guidance, so we can have him do collect resources, defend the tower, protect, uh, attack enemies, or I don't know the last one. We've also found a blueprint. Lightning Catcher reduces the cost of reviving body parts with flesh by one, which is actually really helpful, because eventually we're going to have some soul issues. So what is this one? Attack Layers. So let's actually have this one go for Attack Layers. It's got ranged attacks, so it should be pretty good at it. Uh, let's see. So, Blueprints. What is this? Oh, that's Titans. Well, we don't have nearly enough juice for that. Here we are, Lightning Catcher. So I can spend metal on this, but we only have three. But it makes flesh body parts cheaper... Uh, progressively cheaper, which helps a lot. So we only have so much, uh, souls, whatever, whatever that ingredient is. I forget, can I speed this up? It doesn't look like it. That's fine. Would probably be messy if it, um... Messy if I could, and whoop, he got wrecked. Actually might be a bit of an issue. Yeah, so I've only got 38, and I'm gonna spend 18. I'm gonna have this one protect okay so what does protect do exactly defend the area around them no we should probably have him grab resources I can also manually control these do we do we already found a lizard man okay let's let's have him do attack. Sanded Bones receive, uh, receive plus one speed due to improved aerodynamics. All right, pause for a hot second. We should work on this. So Lizard Man armed with the spear is actually kind of good because it gives them regeneration. Normally none of my guys heal on their own. And so giving him that is expensive as the one downer. So I got to get just enough money to afford it. So let's probably get rid of these? Eh, gotta do that. All right. Pfft, what a dude. Okay, and let's just release him over here. His entire goal, probably just keep grabbing resources. We got the one guy to fight for me. Hopefully he'll be able to keep the enemies off of me. Oh, they will actually intelligently, somewhat intelligently kite things for me. Nice. The artificial intelligence, I say with a lot of trepidation, um, that was kind of, uh, it wasn't that good back in the day. Okay, ooh, brings two orc skeleton parts at nightfall. Unfortunately, I don't have nearly enough resources. We could, we could get this one, we could get this one. 
I like the orc burial mounds, and that would be quite helpful, but we don't have enough resources for it. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm kind of in a slightly... I, I'm gonna have some trouble here. But yeah, I love the fact that they will kite enemies for you. Okay, so let's let's manually control this guy. I'm pretty sure my tower is gonna get slamma jammed here, and there's not much I can do about that. We have no parts, and it is currently just surrounded by enemies. Pause. I think we can get a dude. Requires 27. Well, that ain't gonna work. So we'll just leave him there. I'll go get a bit more after dead is destroyed. 10% of the mana on its creation is restored. Well, that's helpful. Damn it. Just need a little bit more. Okay, revive. Hey! Short orc skeleton. Revival cost minus 10. Damage plus 3. And we get some gold. Cool. Okay, so we're going to release him at home because we are getting absolutely smacked. I guess I'll switch him to defend the tower. Maybe I should have done that with the uh, lizard man that I'm currently controlling. Oops. Is it... Who is this one? Is it this one? Or is this one that I've been controlling? All right, unpause. How's he doing? Oh, he's he's doing good. Neat. Yes, yeah, so we'll probably just have him hang out and defend for the time being. And yeah, the reason why you kind of want the lizard man uh, to be the one doing the defense or just like a lot of stuff is they they regenerate HP, so you don't have to worry about them uh, slowly degrading. Well, seeing as we've got a couple, do we want to grab the orc body parts at nightfall? I think we do. Let's set this guy back to just grabbing resources for me. Unfortunately, a lot of my dudes are kind of slow. I guess the one other thing I could potentially do here. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, orc, skeleton, body, and wolf skin. Looks like actually a number of them have some regeneration. Yeah, we're getting a lot of lizard parts really early. Whoa, hi. Okay, so regeneration is 4, 43, alright. Uh, did we get a better leg for this guy? I love this, this stat window is huge. Because I can kind of figure out like, okay, so the zombie head makes him have less, whatever this stat is. Vampirism. Nah, we want this guy. Alright. <laughs> Look at that man. Okay, do we want to have him go after defend the tower? We can have him specifically go after layers. I think I'm just going to let him do whatever. I think we need resources more than anything else. Though we're in a slightly better spot. So what is this one? Two skeleton and zombie parts at nightfall. Yeah, we want to grab both of those because that automatically gets us resources. Even if it's not particularly amazing at the moment, our main goal here is to ideally have like a, a reasonably good supply of of fighting mon fighting monsters. Yeah. Okay, so let's just release this guy here. And let's have him go after bases. He's probably not going to be very good. But I want to destroy the these, if I can. Did I pick that one up? I have no idea. All right, this feels a lot better. I played the, the demo for this. Uh, oh, what is it? I played the demo for this like a couple months ago, last fall, I think, and had a really good time with it. Unfortunately, my video had, like, really bad audio quality because Windows decided to just screw me over kind of bad. Um, was it Windows or is it my audio interface? I was having some serious problems back in the day. Um, back in the day, last year. And so, luckily, I don't think I'm going to have any such issues now. Um, 
but I remember some of this being a little on the rough side. And I'm glad to say that it, it feels considerably better than where it was at the last time. Uh, the, the unit intelligence is stunningly higher than where it was at previously. Okay, let's... Let's get, like, almost full lizard. With an orc leg. Like, do I just wait a little bit? You know what? Let's wait a little bit. Because we can almost get a full lizard here. We just need one more leg. So let's just do orc. 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 What does this do? Orc sword? Doesn't look like a sword to me, but I ain't, I ain't questioning it too hard. Couple of legs. We don't have any orc heads, do we? Itty bitty baby. Behold the boy. Alright. So let's just release you. Just grab some more resources. It's fine. What else can I do? Uh, sanded bones plus one aerodynamics, which isn't a bad idea. Or reduces the cost of reviving body parts with flesh. Actually, I think we want to get additional skeleton or zombie parts. We want the orc one, but I think I'll just grab whatever. Okay. And yeah, we don't want them hitting the tower too much. All bone body parts cost one mana when revived and when burned. So that's very good. That's a very good way of getting a bunch of cheap minions fast. I guess I can kind of manually defend for a bit. I might switch this guy to do other things in a bit, but right now he's kind of my best defender. Is that a lizard man with an armor uh with armor and a blaster? It is a lizard man with armor and a blaster. Lizard boy's got guns. Hey, we just need one more lizard leg and we can actually get like a, a full lizard combo. And as we saw earlier, you can actually get set bonuses. They give you like stat ups and a discount and some other things. It's pretty good. Actually seems like a lot of my units are still alive. I, it definitely felt like Ooh, are we even up to Harpies? Dang. Uh, originally playing Necrosmith 1, it felt like you are just sending your minions out to die until they got strong enough uh, to randomly survive. Now it actually feels like my minions are intelligent enough that they can kind of just do it. Okay, let's, let's pause for a second. Hey, you know what we can do? A Lizard Man. Do we want to do a Lizard Man with two blasters? Because there's the discus. No, let's do a discus and a gun. Revive! It wasn't anything special, and oh my gosh, he looks amazing. <laughs> Look at that lad. Uh, let's hang him out here. Let's have him fight enemies. Okay, what else can we do? Oh, heads, legs, armor. Hmm. I guess here's the next question. Do we want to just keep going skeleton or zombie parts? Maybe. Bones get extra speed. We could go for the bone... Bone body parts cost one mana when revived and burned. That would let me get a lot of weak enemies out... Or weak dudes out quickly. The main thing is... It would also potentially hurt my income because eventually we stop getting skeletons. So I think that one's actually a, a bad plan, maybe. Let's just do like the fleshiest orc we can possibly get. We can almost get there. Okay. This I like this lad. Uh let's just release him. Let's have him go after those houses if I can. Okay, let's let's let this guy go free. You know what? Let's have him go seriously free. We need more resources, and there's a ton of souls hanging out right there. We might also want to look into making a titan. 
So the way it works is you are specifically needs five bone parts. Uh, I should have plenty of these. Oops, that isn't it. I see. That's how it works. Okay, bone dagger. Let's see, throw skeletons, bones. I see, so let's just put all this together. And we're just going to start sacrificing a bunch of these things kind of quickly. Because I'm not going to be using a whole lot of these bone parts anyway. I could. I could get out a bunch of, like, basic weak dudes. Okay. Almost there. I'll close it. So I guess let's go back to this. Do we want to just get the additional skeleton or zombie part? Nah, let's go orc or orc skeleton. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's probably worth it. Also, dang, yeah, this this guy just rips. He's not quite fast enough for exactly what I need, but I think it's fine. Okay. I'd like to get some more lizards out. I'd like to get whatever the set bonus is for, for lizards in general. A dead receives plus 200 max HP when close to the tower. Ooh, that's actually, that's pretty good. Is that that one here? No. Where is that one? Or is that just, um, oh, you know what? That's one of the equipable perks. More than anything else. Okay, so what are we going to do? We got, we got a lot of stuff out of that. Let's see. Not a lot of orc heads, which is fine. I don't think I care too deeply. Whoa, that's a cool looking axe. I don't think I care too deeply about which of these I get down. It looks like he's just going to be... You know what? I'm just going to have him defend the tower. I had him originally on attack, but I think it's better if I just have him on defense. Alright. Are these zombie arms? I don't think we have any zombie part bodies. So, orc body. Oh, bastard orc. <laughs> Vampirism plus 30, plus some gold. I really like finding these different templates. I almost kind of wish it would actually give you hints. Um, like putting it down and it's like, hey, uh, you've actually found like five out of six of these parts. Just swap this arm out a couple of times and maybe you'll find the, the full set. But yeah, have the lizard, have the lizard do the, um, uh, let's see, have the lizard do the defense, because right now he's got crazy AoE. The gun does piercing, so does the throwing disc. And the damage is mostly good. I don't think we're going to be able to keep him fully off the tower, but at least we're going to be able to keep him going for a while. I was wondering about this originally. It seemed like the game was a little easier. A restores the dur durability of the tower over time. Expensive, but I'm buying it. Actually, it's not even that pricey. Let's go for that flesh discount and the bone speed. Let's just grab both of those as like small bonuses. So how, f eh, it's like 10 HP every once in a while. It's not bad, it's not great. Orc skeleton legs, skeleton head, wizard. <laughs> he's a little lad, but he's got a lot of gumption. It does look like we might also be running into much harder enemy groups. Yeah, that's that is actually way more damaging. Looks like they really want to kill the lizard, but the at least the lizard can kind of take the damage. So we might not survive that long. I guess I might as well actually spend my resources. I was hoping to specifically wait until I had some more parts. 
Uh, specifically another lizard leg, but whatever, we'll just give this guy one orc leg. I feel like I'm just making a bunch of weird bastard trend oceans and just chucking them out. Let's see. Sure. <laughs> so many of these designs are just incredibly cursed in the best possible way. Uh, let's see. Okay. I need to get some more, like, unit spawner killers. How many torsos do we have? We have a lot of lizard bodies, so I guess I'm gonna just have to roll pseudo lizards. Even if their legs are going to be, like, doofy skeleton legs. <laughs> They're so small. <laughs> They're so small and adorable and oh my gosh, my lizards are dying. Yeah, whatever we're up to. I think my my big issue here is that I um I didn't specifically set enough of my units directly around the idea of of um Uh, let's see, what's the next one? Do I want to give it a Book of Poison? Sure. Um, I didn't have enough of my units directed to go kill bases. And... Looks like I should have. They might also not be fast enough, which is maybe causing some issues. Let's try and go for, like, pure speed Boner Boy. Speed 45, speed 39. I think that's a harpy thing. Go grab stuff. Skeleton Stormtrooper. Hey! Yeah, so I'll probably just have an army of lizards. Uh, let's see. What else do we get? All bone body parts get even more speed? Sure. I think we need that more than anything else right now. Give him a lizard head. Hey, there's an actual orc head. Let's make him pretty. Uh, let's see, what kind of weapons do we have? We actually have way more soul juice than I thought. <laughs> you can't even see the body through all of that mess. And unfortunately, we're starting to get swarmed here. So let's, um, let's finish my Titan. There's our boner lord. We're just gonna have him hang out and do whatever. Oh, release. Okay, what else can I get? Not much of anything. Looks like. Yeah, the one problem is the Bone Lord is just going to eat damage, which sucks a little bit because we're going to have a really big boss coming after me shortly. That I kind of need to save my dude for. It's fine. Uh, You know what? Ah, shoot. You should be grabbing resources for me. Go kill some bases, maybe. Which one of you has the most amount of healing? Because I think I'm going to have this guy go kill bases if I can, too. We need the defense, but if I get mobbed to death, it's meaningless. I'll have to see if I can get, like, lizard titans later. Because that would actually be incredibly helpful. But yeah, if you notice right now, um, 
my scouts that are out to grab resources have revealed these things, but they didn't actually do a very good job of killing them because that wasn't their goal. And so right now I just have way too many enemies uh, coming at me from all angles, and I am not able to cope with that. Let's give him, like, the one chicken leg. Yeah, let's just put him there. Because the sooner we can take the some of these out, the better. Unfortunately, all of my defenses have been eaten, which is a problem. Oh gosh, that was like all of my lizards. Well, I mean, this is kind of inevitable. We were going to lose anyway. It was mostly a matter of, like, how long can I survive? But now now I've learned the lesson of, boy, uh, don't, don't just have all of your guys out to grab resources because you get wrecked. What is this? There's actually, like, champion mobs. Huh. Either way, we lasted like a thousand times longer than I thought we were going to for our first run. Let's watch this guy just come up and punch it. Oh yeah, that's bad. That's dire. Can I just make an... Oh, we have four slots. So we can't do another Titan yet. But we can later. Yeah, so let's just look at this. The other one I might want to consider is actually having some better defenses and specifically doing the base hunting myself. Currently, uh, I noticed the base hunter dudes will just like sit on top of, um, uh, sit on top of bases and die, and that's kind of a problem. So let's get the cat bed. Uh, he'll go out and grab resources for us, produces bone body parts every night. Yeah, that's pretty good. What's this one? Repair the dead in a selected area. That's good. I mean, I'm probably going to buy just like a little bit of everything. Anything that's cheap. Acid fog versus lightning. Let's go for the lightning. Uh, and if we go down here, I have enough for one of these slots, so we can actually get two things. So after a dead is destroyed, tempers and then mana spent on its creation, and then dead receives max HP when closer to the tower. Both of which are pretty good. All right, let's get back out there. It's, this feels like such a massive improvement on the last one. I was originally kind of hoping that they keep updating the game and so, oh, that's cool. Um, keep updating the original in some meaningful fashion, but I actually, I think this is, this is the better solution more than anything else. Bastard Orc Skeleton. So I think the Bastard Skeletons are when it's Orc, Orc Body, and then you just slap a bunch of skeleton bits on the outside. Um, I'll have to, I'll definitely have to take a look on blueprints. Yeah, let's just have this one go out and grab whatever for me. And fortunately, all those blueprints we found are lost, but it's fine. Okay, so we have dead repairs. Restore the durability of your dead. We also have the cat, which I'm just going to send out. It zips for a short period of time, but it gets a lot of resources rather quickly, and eventually we can get it to last, like, half a minute. The only problem with the cat is it absolutely will uh, reveal, uh, like, enemy spawners, and that can become dire. Okay. I'm just gonna have this guy be our base killer right from the get-go. I don't know if we know any where any are, but... Having at least one on the board seems like a good idea. I think they might... No, I don't know. It'd be kind of cool if the base killers specifically defaulted to... Well, either they know where a base is. Oh, yeah. Looks like he might just know. Here's the question. Can I lightning that? Yeah, so he might actually just know where the spawners are. Which is fine by me. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he doesn't. Yeah, I think he just wanders somewhat aimlessly. It would be kind of cool if if you could give them like a secondary goal, like if, uh, you know, something to prioritize a little bit along the way. So he would slightly go out of his way to grab some of these things. But I could also see that being much harder to specifically program around. Okay, well, we've got a couple of orc legs. What do we want to do? That's... That's too expensive. We'll, we'll probably get plenty. And actually, now we've got enough. Do we want to have him be another base killer? 
base defense. Yeah, let's just do base killing. Because I can also heal this guy somewhat. Okay, restores tower's durability over time. That'll be useful later. So what is this one again? Cost of reviving, reviving body parts with flesh. Yeah, let's start with that. Orc skeleton body parts at nightfall, which is really good. Oh, cat's not done yet. Here's a question. Press the button, release the cat. Is there a hotkey for the cat? Oh, it's not off cooldown yet. One, two, three, four. Let me check. Is there... Oh, Steam Deck. That's nice. I don't see anything... I don't see a hotkey for the cat. It's probably there. I just don't know what it is. Okay, and it looks like my dudes are doing fine. Blood soaked body parts add nine. Interesting. Is that no, that's a skeleton. It does seem like a lot of the goofier combos are the ones that actually result in a combo. So we don't have any small skeleton heads. I'll just put that on. Yeah, not a bastard. Oh, we should have this guy go grab parts, though. I might want to specifically go out of my way for faster dudes. Oh, the orc legs are even faster, actually. What about these? Zombie legs are even faster. Okay, and some of this is getting a little expensive. What do we sell? Do we want to just give the most, like, basic dudes? Oh. Eh, we're getting plenty enough. Let's see. Just have him grab things for me? Yep. I absolutely adore big orc arms on small skeleton bodies. There's just something about it, man. How much damage does this do? 200. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Blood soaked bone body parts add 9 HP. I see. So it's just all bone body parts. Well, for starters, let's get the orc bits. Sanded bones aerodynamic. Alright. Do we do anything else? No. Can I check? Where's my blueprints? Ah, here we are. Six? You? I have no idea. But yeah, we should we should definitely follow at least some of those blueprints because they they definitely are cheaper. Yeah, no body parts available for at least a couple of these. So Bastard Orc is just... Two zombie arms, two zombie legs, and a zombie head. But an orc body. Well, I guess I can just kind of chill. Let's see. Is that zombie head with helmet? Because I've got like... Oh, here it is. Probably isn't a combo, though. No, it is. Ripper Skeleton. Sick. How much HP does he have? 560, so that's... Uh, I guess the bone body parts actually is still kind of helpful. Where's this guy? Might as well heal him up. Send the cat out. Okay, do we have a guy here? We do. But he doesn't do ranged attacks.
Okay, where's this one? That's a reasonably good spot. Okay, I'm gonna control this guy. He's not that fast, unfortunately. Oh, we're, we're actually taking some damage, so I suppose... Do I have anything? No. It doesn't look like we've got enough parts for a dude. Ain't gonna let that stop me. Let's see. I don't want to use the Cyclops arm yet, even though it's good. Okay, hopefully that gives me a bit more defense. I'm suddenly kind of worried for myself. Okay, there was there was something left there. We're not getting the lizard body parts, which is part of my issue. Let's have him attack. There we go. Yeah, we were swimming in lizard bits last time. And that worked really well for me. This time around, I we were kind of lizardless. Now Easy option I do have. Oof. Easy option I do have. Ow, something's got a ranged attack here. Not a very frequent one though. Oh, it's it's this thing. He's done for. And he's very cooked. Yeah, not much I can do. Alright. So what do we got? Cyclops leg. Let's see if I have any of these. Nope. It doesn't look like we have enough bits. So, option A... is we could actually make a Skella Boy. And just have him kind of hang out on base defense. He's not great. Let's see, what do we sell? And release him. Well, actually, do we want him to go kill bases? I could. So the dude just hurls bones. Yeah, let's have him go kill bases more than anything else. Because a very early big Angie Titan, whose entire job is to prevent stru uh, structures from spawning anything. Not a bad idea. Oh, speed of creatures players control. Uh, hold up. Oh yeah, we have a couple of these. Oh, I see. That's the blueprint, maybe. Yeah, let's, um... Ah, yeah, we don't we don't have that relic. One thing I actually wish this game had is when you find those, it's just active for the whole run. Damn. But yeah, imagine if this had plus 50% speed. Imagine how kind of unhinged that would be. 
Okay, let's uh, let's just let him do his thing. How are we at? So we don't have a whole lot of base offense critters. Uh, I'm running a little low on souls. So let's go for something like that. Check if we have any other blueprints. Orc skeleton. I need to do defense at the moment. We probably do. Okay, let's just have this guy out. Fortunately, he's probably going to get wrecked. Yeah, the problem is these little guys. Okay, let's, let's just have him go grab resources. Or he dies. All right. I think I'm just going to send out a bunch of scouts. Much as I need to do some other things. We do need a lot of resources. Let's grab the extra skeleton body parts and whatnot. The enemies just do so much, so much damage. Okay, that's a skeleton head. Do we not have any other better heads? What about bodies? Oof. This feels like bad overkill. Yeah, this guy's gonna be able to do big damage, but I don't know if he's gonna live. It's over here. Looks like my Titan is having a time. I don't know if it's a good time, but he's doing it. Yeah. There's the lizard parts, but I think it's probably just a little late. Yeah. It's fine. I wasn't really expecting... I'm never expecting to win these runs. Like, this game's kind of one of critical mass, where eventually you just become stupid overpowered, and then you then you just win for forever. Uh, that's not it. Ba -da 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 -da, here. This is another bastard orc, but we should probably set it so they're doing... Meh. Meh. There we go. Just release these guys. Set them out here. Yeah. Grab some stuff. We're just trying to grab as much as we can before we have to leave. What is that? Swamp spirit body with leeches. Hell yeah? Let's just make the most scuffed looking dude. All right, what about heads? Let's go with that one. All right, this guy's gonna be on defense because he should have plenty of re regen and vampirism. And oh my God, he's terrifying. But that is kind of part of this game. That it, the the appeal is to make the worst kinds of monstrosities, and just have some fun with it. Uh, let's see. Do we want to give this guy like one goofy little arm? Crossbow nine, rockfall twenty two. Or I could give him like a s shield, and then like a dinky little zombie head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's weird looking, man. I do think putting the Titan on um, the Titan on base killing was actually, I'm going to say, probably one of the best things I could possibly have done. It's nice to have them on on defense or offense or something like that, but like, dude just rips towers. Uh, I think the only issue is he's kind of well, he is kind of slow, but you know the the whole bone body parts are faster does work on him. I think it actually works really well on him. 
So we might want to consider saving up the 50. See if I can get him to just be like super speed mode. And those leeches work really well too. Now, we're getting just enough that I can maybe do some things. Uh, regeneration for all magical body parts. Hey, that's 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 also good. I don't think we have a whole lot of that. But it's also five, so we might as well. Okay. Please tell me he's very fast now. Ah, uh, I was hoping. Okay. Not that one. This one. That should be a bunch of stuff ready and waiting for him to get goodies for me. So what else do we have? Orc legs. Orc arms. Zombody. And that. Probably kind of same spot. I'd like to heal this guy. Unfortunately, I can't currently. There we go. He got wrecked early, but he's been kind of holding his own sense. But having this thing just run around and wrecking the spawners. Gives me a lot of leeway for safety. And that, whatever that, that leech body part was, this guy, oh, it's the body part. <laughs> Look at that damage, too. 891, yeah, go figure. Okay, do we have, like, a wizard skeleton head? We do not. find something somewhere kind of out. Not a bad spot for being out about. Orc leg with boot. I don't know if this is another one of the bastards or what might be. I think it needed it needed to have been armored. Down to this. Let's see if we have anything else around here. If something got wrecked, but it wasn't the defenders. There we go. Yeah, I'll have to figure out some more blueprints. It might be one of those where I stream this on launch day or something and have that be, um... Have that be a thing. Oh. Dude found a spawner. Oh. Well, that's a problem. As that's right next to home. Okay. I have resources aplenty that I've been kind of hoarding for no good reason. Mostly owing to the fact that what else am... Well, I don't know. I only need to produce so much. And we need to kill that thing ASAP because it is... Uh, it is boss time. Problem is I don't have a whole lot of... Um, bodies. Eh, no, we got an amount. This is a lot of skeletons, which makes me think. Let's just grab that. Nice and cheap. Regeneration for body, bone body parts. I was hoping to go for this one, but we don't have quite enough. That's fine. But yeah, if I, if I have to summon a skeleton horde, we might as well make it incredibly cheap. So I can spam these suckers out in, like, no time flat. They're probably gonna get flattened, uh, which is the issue. Oh, reach the maximum amount of dead in my service. Oh, all right.
Time for everybody to come home. I don't know if there's a way for me to specifically get them to come back quickly. Probably not. Send the cat out. Let's drop a lightning on it. How? That's uh, a tanky. That's that's a tanky dude. Okay, revive, release. Oh. That is a lot of damage. Zombies. bodies. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way that I can specifically tell these guys to somewhat keep the distance. So this is the best I got for now. Ow. But I wasn't really expecting much else from this. Like I, I fully... Oh, hey! Revive Torturer. I was fully expecting to get hosed here. The, that leech guy might be able to do it now. He's he's bonered. Dang. Okay. Like, we're close. I don't think we're going to be able to get it on this round, unfortunately. But I wasn't really expecting... I wasn't really expecting to get the kill on this one. If my Titan was a little closer, I think it would have been fine. I, I should have brought him back in time. But I wasn't... I don't know. I wasn't even expecting to be able to put as much of a dent into this sucker as I thought I did. Or... I wasn't expecting to put as much of a dent into that as I did. So, the fact that I was able to is cool. Gonna tell me why we voluntarily returned to the Claws of the Watchers. Curiosity killed the cat, but I am a cat. But you are a learn learned cat, so what? So you can figure it out yourself. Okay, number of titans allowed on the map. Lizard body parts every night. Expensive, probably worth it. Some of these are very expensive. Bones every night, four body parts, nexus. Five, that's not bad. The cat is pretty good. Reduces the cooldown, increases the duration. Number of libraries on the map, which is really good. Allows you to teleport your dead to the tower. Which is actually really nice. Force field spell, lightning. So how much damage? 200 up to 500. Distance seems to be about the same. I think that's distances in like AoE more than anything else. Uh, meteor shower spell or acid fog spell. I think I'm going to go for the teleport your dead to the tower and let's go for acid fog. Let's go down here because this was okay. I think I want roller skates. We'll do one more run. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this, but if I can have a hyper speed tight, um, kill titan that I'm controlling and running around with, that might give me a lot of leeway for what I'm trying or for what I want to do. I think this is another one of the bastard designs. Uh, And yeah, we might want more of the library upgrade at some point. <laughs> okay, two orc skeleton body parts at nightfall. Sick. I guess they kind of do go out of their way to grab stuff. Yeah, actually, it does look intentional. So if they don't have anything better to do, 
any other structures to go kill. They absolutely will. Acid fog. Oh, acid fog goes around my tower. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab resources while we're here. Looks like we got a second one. Pause for hot moment. We can probably get another orc up in here. We just want to go grab as many resources as we possibly can. Oh, so this is a library. All non-magic weapons gain plus one damage. That's kind of useful. But I'm mostly focused on getting this guy up. We've already got a couple of really good lizard... Uh, lizard parts. So, I'll probably re... Or, I'll probably just let this guy loose and make a lizard design to go fight things. Pause for a hot moment. Can I get more? I'm just gonna grab that for now. I'd like to get the orc one, because that's a little bit more practical for us, but... use the acid fog to keep him off of me. Okay, let's let's take this guy and just have him go grab things. Acid fog also seems to have a reasonably short cooldown, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Do we want to just have one kind of incomplete lizard? Let's see. Oh, this is... Yeah, that's better. Let's just sell some of the zombie parts. I'm gonna have him as a base killer. But I think I'm just gonna control him for the moment. Because his entire goal is to go uh, destroy things for me. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the best ranged weapons. Some axes seem to be like a thrown weapon that goes go pretty far. Some seem to be a little bit more like, I uh, just chuck it in a direction and hope for the best. So, uh, oh right, because it's got lizard parts, it can swim. actually swims wicked quick compared to most. Well, let's just blast a couple of those. Hopefully we can get some more lizardy bits. Yeah, we've got a couple of these. Eh, screw it. I got the poison cloud I can get in a moment. If I need it. Uh, I guess here's the easy one. Let's just have one orc. Just on defense for the time being. It's got some vampirism, should be fine. Grab these. I should also have enough that I can buy a thing. Let's just get the uh, orc bits on a per turn, uh, on a nightly basis. No, don't throw the grenade that direction. You goofus. There we go, that's a bunch of them. I guess this guy's got really good regen, so I don't think we need to worry too much.
What do we think? Do we have enough? No. We most assuredly do not have enough bits. Uh, I guess speaking of, what can I make? Turn this off. We want to just go for these. These are the nice cheap ones that we can just send out. Okay, got a good head. Eh, we'll just go with that one. What about this one? There we go. Yeah, I kind of neglected... ...sending Skelemen out. And I should definitely be just piling these guys out left and right. Okay. That should be good enough. Yeah, the tower's taking some damage, but we have a we have a defender. I think we're in a good fine location. Oh, that was one of my guys. Wasn't the tower defender though. Also, holy smokes, this guy has like no line of sight. I should have kept that in mind. Uh, that some of these orcs are definitely better at other certain things over others. Okay, why don't why don't we just have this one go back to tower control? Cause yeah, how much line of sight does Oh yeah, lizards have way more. Even I mean zombies have way more. Or quite a lot actually. Is that? Eh, it makes them slower. Because I could just do, like, one lizard blaster. Okay, here we go. Not a primo dude. Not even close. Let's check this one. Okay. But here we go. Doesn't look like we're taking too much damage at the moment. I say that as one of my guys just immediately dies. Ah, uh, non-magic weapons gain extra damage. I think we just want to go for parts at the moment. Why is he aiming that direction? I guess they just pick a direction and go. Interesting. Generation for all magic body parts. There's another library. Yeah, we want to keep getting these libraries. Okay. Head over that direction. But once my defenders start taking a ton of damage or die, that's when we need to... Bail. So we might wanna Oh. We wanna hold up. I think we got a complete lizard here. Unfortunately, I think he's too armored in some aspects. Let's just have him defend the tower. Go with that. Uh, let's see. Here's my controlled guy. I'll keep working on these. Do we got anything else? Because if I have any of these, like, basic blueprints, we might as well just release them into the wilds. Because we want to grab as many and as many resources as we possibly can. We've already gotten a decent amount of gold. Okay, that really doesn't do a whole lot of damage to them. There they go.
we might it might be about time that we make uh we start making this dude there we go so i need a bunch of bone parts it really doesn't matter how many bone parts i chuck into this one we'll get more Okay, good enough for now. We're pretty close. And, like, we're a decent... We're a decent distance from getting a, another whole lizard here. Yeah, I just want to punch these. Don't kill my guy, I'm gonna back off for a little bit so he doesn't take too much damage. Ooh, that's close. Okay, let's let's have this guy just go grab things. He's way too low health. Okay, should be able to revive him. Go back home. Release. Yeah, that movement speed, man. It does work. Okay, let's send some of these off. Let's see if we've got any better blueprints. Non-magic weapons doing extra damage might be a good idea. Regen for magic parts. HP for bone soaked. Well, here's the question: three thousand five hundred. If I get the um, if I get the bone soak one, does that affect the Titan because he's made out of bones? It does not. That's a bit of a downer. I was kind of hoping it would. And dude's made out of bones and then some. I don't know. Boy, he's also got, like, freaking hell of uh, vision range. Yeah, I look forward to uh, getting the upgrade so we can actually have multiple of these. What I'll probably do is have, like, one Titan who specifically is dedicated a little bit more towards... Oh, you know what? Um, can I change his tactic? I want to aim him specifically at bases. And sadly, we can't heal him. So there's only so much I can do. And our defenders seem to be doing fine. Got a lot of lizard parts. So we'll probably just build a bunch of lizards soon enough. Do we have anything else? I wonder if this guy can go through the water. I haven't tested that yet. Okay, he cannot. Bones get extra aerodynamics. Here's a question. Can I see what his move speed is? 130. If I... Grab... Where is it? Oh, here it is. Nope, still 130. So none of these upgrades apply to the Titan. I'm actually a little peeved by that. I feel like, you know, maybe it shouldn't be like a 100% uh, conversion rate, but considering this guy's made out of 35 bones, I don't know. A 35 damage up on him would be kind of nice. It might make him too strong. But like, what if you could get the skeleton dude just cruising, tank him up a bunch with the um, the bone parts? Ooh, there's something up here. Let's pause for a second. I think it's time. Well, let's let's not do this. We've got enough regular lizard parts. There it is. Lizard Rebel. Regeneration, speed, damage. Money. Yeah, we just need some defenses at the moment. 
How interesting. This dude is considerably slower during the day. That hurts a lot, actually. That's a lot of money out here. Do we have any portals nearby? Stores towers durability over time, which is actually pretty good. Let's see, I don't think we have too many lizard. What I need is the lizard armored head. How's the tower doing? I mean, yeah. Let's go for the tower's durability over time. I'm gonna grab those. Just get a bunch of uh, quick scouts. Okay, do we have anything else? No. No rippers. Okay. That's a pretty good spot. Let's just release them. Hopefully these guys are kind of quick. They are. Not like amazingly so. Got two minutes left. Well, do we want to just teleport this guy back? There's tons of money out here. But it's kind of a waste for me to be using him as such. Yeah, he's faster in certain types certain types of land. Good to know. What Pharaoh Mummy? Oh, that's a new one. Oh, let's pause. Let's see if I can make, like, just an orc. There it is, orc warrior. Yeah, some of them are a little bit more, like, obvious. Like, orc arm with shield, of course. Who have? I was hoping for one, like, way out in the sticks here. I guess that's pretty far. It's mostly the skeleton stormtroopers. And, like, really basic boner dudes that I want to craft. Because I want to get as much as possible before we're done done with this run. Uh, because this is a roguelite, we want to just grab as many things as we possibly can. Okay. Grab some of these. You know what I should be doing, though? I should be healing this guy up. His health is not terrible, but I want him to be about as fresh as I can get him to be prior to this time we're running out and we us getting a uh, boss. But yeah, it does, does seem like kind of an exterminatus protocol designed... Specifically to do as much damage as you possibly can to enemy spawners it is a good idea. Do we have any spawners here? We do. What's the base doing? Those guys are actually just carrying it. I mean, we do know that the lizards are usually quite strong. A dead dude destroys an enemy lair, restores to full HP. I mean, that's good. Reduces the cost of flesh body parts by one, which is good. Fairy leg. I didn't even know fairies was a possible option. It, the amount of variety, lateral variety, at this stage is actually very nice. I haven't talked too deeply about it, but uh, one of the problems in OG Necro Smith is like, Kind of as soon as you got to the lizard tier, everything became 
I'm not too easy, but there were obviously tiers of the game that you were having trouble until you got to the lizards. And then once you were up at the lizards, the game became easy again. Let's pause. Uh, let's see. And then, then it would get hard again because you needed, um, you know, you just needed stronger monsters or something like that. Let's see, where's this one? You know what? This is a good spot to release those two. But so, effectively, the tiers were entirely determined by one meta progression upgrade that determined the rarity of the parts that you were finding or something to that extent. So, like, as soon as you got the one that guaranteed you lizard parts early, uh, it became easy for a while. And then as soon as... Uh, Okay. Er, that's the wrong one. Unfortunately, I think a lot of these guys aren't going to make it in time. So in that case, I'm going to set them to violence. If they're too far out, if they're close enough to home, it's not so bad. But if I can set them to violence, or like, maybe going for spawners. Oh, this one. Yeah, I just have too many units out simultaneously. Which is... I mean... It's fine. I guess the one thing I can also do is kill a couple of them. If they're really far out... Because, yeah, a number of these guys are just so far away that, like, they ain't making it home no matter what. All right, cool. So. Let us make our fight lizard. Really? That doesn't, that doesn't count. I am. I don't know what to think about that. Any other lizard bits? Nope. Do fairy legs on a fairy body. Let's see. Orc skeleton arm. These does the most amount of damage. Probably this. And we don't have too many mummies. This is a weird, weird, sexy mummy. Speaking of weird, sexy mummies, here we go. Uh, uh, no. All right, we've got one more arm than that. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of good. Good arms at the moment. We've got a ton of great bodies and heads. I'm just going to burn through a couple of these. Okay. So where is the dude? I might actually be able to beat the elephant this time around. Because this time I actually have my Titan in range. My main goal is, to some degree, to have my Titan hanging out behind him. Nope. Wow, this went poorly for me. And we have the Mantis body, but eh. This is where we get a little desperate. Let's 
Wait, we might be able to kill it. We got it. All right, so we got a Master of Flesh Torso, health, regeneration, and reduced speed. Oh. Oh, that was just... That was just the first tier. Oh, shoot. We have more. They learned from, uh... They learned from Wall World. I really appreciate that, actually. Except for also, uh... I'm somewhat in trouble as I do not have enough. Well, I guess I have enough kind of resources. We're just gonna we're just gonna make a something. Let's see, give it an arm. Just give it a shield. Have him defend. Okay. Well, one way or another, uh this run, I, I don't know how long it's gonna go. Presumably it's like 30 minutes per run, and then then you run out of content. I like the extra Titan bits. I like a lot that I've seen so far. It feels... Let's see, do we want more skeleton body parts? Orc bits? Regeneration all magical body parts? Non-magical. Mm. I don't really know. Uh, let's just go for the extra Orc bits. And Skele bits, just so I have some more things to work around with. Okay. One way or another, I think I should be ending this video just because. Um, but I gotta guess I have a couple more talking points that I might as well go through real quick. Uh, so Necrosmith 2 is once again out on March 26th. It's going to be eight bucks and it's going to have a 15% discount at launch, which what puts it down to seven, give or take. Uh, it's somewhere between eight to 12 hours to beat, which tracks, I think, with the previous one and also kind of matches the, the price point and whatnot. This is not a game that you're really meant to spend like endless amounts of time on, but it definitely is the kind of game that, oh my gosh, did they just, they just ate my home base. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I wasn't really expecting to win. I'll destroy this and maybe warp the Titan home and just something, who knows. I'm getting overwhelmed, but I was kind of expecting that. That might also just help. Nope. Holy smokes, those frosty boys are brutal. You died. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I like it a lot. The original demo for this was a little rough around the ed edges, and it's nice to see... Um, let's see. Sorry, random dialogue. It is nice to see how far it's come. It's still got a ways to go, but that's kind of inevitable. I think the ancient map decoder is probably the next big upgrade. Otherwise, like Necromancer Table, or really this one, Lizard Body Parts Every Night, that's that's the one to save up for. The more libraries is nice, but just free Lizard Parts on a nightly basis seems pretty good. Anywho, uh, oh yeah, 5,000 for the Harpy Body Parts, and then Mechanoid and Cybersaurus Body Parts Every Night. So rather than luck, these just generate this stuff for you, or maybe that's what it was, I forget. Could also buy another pedestal for artifacts, but we're kind of low on those. Anyway, I guess one last thank you to Alawar for sponsoring this video. It was very kind of you and a ton of fun as always, and I'm looking forward to playing more of this. I'm probably going to stream it on launch day, give or take. Uh, my schedule is kind of nightmarish in the next month or so, so we'll see what I can fit in. But I would like to play through this one as it's just kind of fun to uh, mishmash monster parts together and hopefully uh, just kind of, I don't know, cruise through the game in a comfortable fashion. We are already kind of there. It's just a matter of losing so much of my defensive forces and uh, not being able to get out and, and stop all the enemies from hitting me. We lost our critical mass and could not cope. But I think just generating lizard parts on a nightly basis is probably gonna solve that. So anyway, if you like this video in any way, shape or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you wanna see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe and got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.